Hey Zen fam! I have news for you, but weirdly, this news has nothing to do with the PlayStation 5. I know, but there are other gaming things happening in the world, so before I read the news, I will remind you to uh, please look up the uh, giveaway at the moment. There will be a link in the description, don't you worry about that. But basically, some of you have been entering, which is great, but the subscriber count has not been going up. And uh, if the subscriber count doesn't meet the goal, the competition will be withdrawn. I don't want to withdraw the competition. I want to give to you guys a t-shirt out there. So, get busy with that sharing, boys. And girls. <laughs> okay, so, get this, right? AT&T. If you don't know them outside of North America, basically they're a they're a telecommunications company, you know, and they don't have the best reputation, but they're not got the worst reputation either. Well, anyway, a couple of years back, they spent a boatload of money, something in the region of I think about two hundred, was it million or was it billion? Uh, it says later on here, is it? Yeah, 200 billion in buying up Warner Brothers Interactive. Now, with Warner Brothers Interactive, that of course gave them stuff like um, Rocksteady, Death of Realm Studios, it gave them access to. What else did it give them? There's a bunch of other ones, like Avalanche. You know, some, some medium names, some big names in gaming that brought us some great stuff. I mean, look, the Mad Max game from a couple of years ago, Mortal Kombat, the Batman Arkham series, and more to boot. So, you know, these guys had, you know, they were talking about some pretty important games companies who brought about some very important gaming properties. I mean, the Lord of the Rings games, you know, the Shadow of Mordor, or the Shadow of War. So, big stuff. So basically, at and is looking to sort of like sell these off because in a deal that could be about four billion dollars, right? They've spent 200 billion, 200 billion but they're looking to get four billion back. Yeah, it looks like they're not getting all their investment there. And apparently, like, Take Two and EA and Activision Blizzard are looking to oh, show an interest. It's like, great. Two out of the three are really awful companies. I mean, I'm sorry, EA. I mean, we all know EA's reputation and Activision Blizzard. It's like, do you not have phones? Please. We really don't need these, but these guys being any bigger. And of course, take two, I mean, okay, they do some great publishing and that, and they have bought some great stuff, but they can be a bit on the scummy side, let's face it. They have done some stuff. They've also done some great stuff, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but when it comes to EA, aside from a couple of little things here and there, by and large, they are just a big bag of horrible. And Activision Blizzard, uh, yeah. They, they do a lot of not great stuff. Now, if they were to get bought up by like Sony or Microsoft, that could be an interesting thing. Because both of those companies are looking to enlarge in their portfolio of studios. Now, obviously, I'd like to see Sony buy it because, you know, I am a Sony guy. But Microsoft, you know, buy it. Or maybe if both companies nibble up different bits like you know like say Sony tries to buy just Warner Brothers and Microsoft tries to buy his Never Realm and so on and so on and so on. Maybe they'll get broken up a bit like when uh oh, what was that other company that got broken up in gaming? Um honest Ah it's gone from my brain right now. Yeah so basically yeah. Oh Rocksteady as well. Yeah so Rocksteady is part of that. So you know, another 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 group might come along and have Rocksteady. 
So yeah, so they purchased Warner Media in 2018 and looking to invest assets to pay off a $200 billion debt. I was like, ouch, that is a lot of money. You know, even to a telecommunications company. And with American telecommunications companies, it's often the case that what they'll do is they'll move into a city and they'll turn it into their own personal market, their own sort of, you know, telecommunications fiefdom. And nobody else can get in and nobody else can make a bid, which is one of the main reasons why, of course, you know, the loss of net neutrality was such a big deal because, you know, there wasn't the fact that you could just go to another provider because often another provider couldn't get in the city because the, the anti-competition rules in some American states are different to other American states and not the same as British rules on such things. I mean, over here, if you want to like go with BT, you can go with BT. If you want to go with Virgin, you can go with Virgin. If you want to go with Sky, you can go with Sky. If you want to go with Talk Talk, go with Talk Talk. And we've got like a, a good dozen or so companies, large and small, who are all vying for our business. You know, and they're all ranging levels of different kinds of things with the same sort of stuff. Same with electricity companies, gas companies, you name it. People that want to give you broadband. Because it's not all just telecommunication companies that do broadband. There are other companies separately that just do broadband. I mean, in some ways over here we're spoiled for choice. But that's because there's anti uh, uh, There's laws against having too much stuff set up. So yeah, it's like... Um, any company that wants to purchase WB Interactive will not gain the rights to IP like Batman or Harry Potter which is owned by Warner Brothers instead. Now that changes a lot of the discussion because, you know, Batman and Harry Potter, those are very, very big properties. So Warner Brothers hangs on to those. And that is something very else. And that's maybe why they're not getting as much back from their original investment as possible because they can't sell those to very large things. I mean, we've all, some of us out there have seen the uh, the Harry Potter video game leak from about two years ago now, it must have been. And it was like, we couldn't see it very well, but let's face it, we're all looking at that going, Ooh. And that's even with Rowling damaging her own stock, the fact that the actor is sort of saving it because she's total turf, man. It's Rowling. Oh, dear God. What you like, Mrs. Uh, anyway, anyway, so we can't get the revenue from those IPs. Uh, however, they can get access to NetherRealm Rocksteady. Um, but what part of they can't get hold of the actor, the Arkham series? So that's weird. They can't get hold of Batman, but they get hold of Arkham. Weird. I don't know how that pans out. Let's see, they purchased the AT T purchased Time Warner for a hundred and nine billion in two thousand and eighteen and assumed a two hundred billion dollar debt. Investors have called AT T to sell non core assets such as Direct T V and now WB Interactive. So it looks like AT T have got themselves into a bit of the old financial troubles and now we're looking to sell off as many of the video game properties as they can legally allow to be doing so where they actually have the rights for the actual properties within. So we'll have to see who is that wants to buy them, what they're going to do with them and uh, things at this point are going to get very very interesting. And there's little things floating in the wind about other sort of company goings on. I'm getting, I, I had somebody tell me something about Todd Howard and him possibly in trouble with some sort of law over here with how the sales went down for the misleading promotional information for Fallout 76 
Now, I'm still waiting on more details for that, but uh, yeah, interesting times ahead. But uh, I just thought I'd bring you some different kind of news for once. You know, it's like uh, stuff to definitely keep an eye on and Zen Block will do his best to keep you in the know, don't you worry about that. I thought it was time I did a proper news video, I've not done a proper news video for a while, but then there's not really been that much in the way of proper news. Anyway guys, enough of that prattling on, I'll let you back to whatever it was you're doing, and uh, hashtag support squash YouTubers and of course as always, I never bother.